When a beautiful toucan in Costa Rica has her beak damaged by some terrible delinquent youth, it is up to modern technology to give her back the quality of life she deserves. Toucans are known for being beautifully colored birds that are most iconically identified by their large beaks. Not only are their beaks attractive, but they are also extremely functional, the toucan's ultimate tool. Their impressive beaks allow them to eat berries, attract males, and fight off any predators. So what happens when a toucan's beak is so severely damaged that it can do neither of these things? This happened to Grisha, a Costa Rican toucan. It was a warm summer's day when a farmer in a countryside village in Costa Rica saw a group of naughty young kids in his fields. Knowing that they couldn't be up to any good, the farmer rushed to approach them and prevent them from damaging his crops. Only when he got there, he could hardly believe what he found. As he approached, he shouted at the top of his lungs for the kids to leave. When they saw the farmer getting closer, they hightailed out of the fields as fast as they could. When the farmer reached the clearing where they had been, he looked around confused. His crops seemed to be all right. So what had the delinquents been up to? That is when the farmer heard a sound coming from within the bushy nature of one of his crops. He cautiously moved towards it, sticking his hand bravely into the bush to move it aside. That's when he saw it. Lying at his feet, he found a bird of sorts. Though with the damage the children had caused, it took him a good minute to realize it was a toucan. The reason it took so long to recognize the iconic-looking bird? The lack of beak. The farmer quickly took his shirt off and leaned over to wrap the bird in it. Gently, he carried the poor bird back to his house. He knew the bird needed desperate help. The farmer entered his home, calling desperately for his wife to come to their aid. When she got to them, she cried out with terror. Who could do such a thing to a gentle animal? The young delinquents had damaged the poor toucan so badly that the top half of her beak was virtually non-existent. The woman immediately started crying and praying for the poor soul. Other than the toucan's beak being so damaged, the bird seemed all right, thankfully. Immediately, the farmer went off into the local town and informed his neighbors of the violent attack. The other farmers immediately got involved and came over to the house to offer any assistance they could. Luckily for the toucan, the good people outnumbered the bad. The locals came to name the little toucan Panchito whilst they were taking care of her, but knew they needed to get her medical attention as soon as possible. That's where veterinarian Carmen Soto came into the picture. Hearing about the poor toucan's condition from some traveling farmers, she quickly raced to the bird's aid. Taking the two-hour trip to the village where Panchito was, was one Carmen would never forget. She had heard about the damage to the bird's beak, but hoped that it wasn't as severe as others had reported. Unfortunately, she discovered very quickly that it was just as bad, if not worse, than what others had reported. When she arrived at the farmer's house, they quickly took her to see the sweet bird. Upon seeing Panchito for the first time, Carmen grew extremely mad. She could hardly comprehend the damage these young people had caused the poor bird. She started to question humanity. After spending a bit of time with the farmer and his wife, Carmen took the injured toucan and placed her gently in the car, in an animal carrier. She administered a gentle tranquilizer so that Panchito didn't feel too flustered by the movement of the car. And off they went, on their car ride back to Carmen's practice. The whole way back to her practice, Carmen was just ruminating over the horrors of what they did to Panchito, how she was going to help her physically, and how they were going to get justice for what had been done. Luckily for her, the two-hour trip back was enough time for her to concoct a plan. Upon returning to her practice, Carmen quickly went to work trying to help the toucan. Placing her under anesthesia, she began to clean up Panchito's wound to try and minimize the pain as much as she could. She did the best job she could and then slowly awoke the bird back to consciousness. Then came the second part of Carmen's plan how to bring justice. It was then that the people working for Carmen started raising awareness on social media of what had happened to the innocent bird. It's safe to say that attention grew. Soon, the horrifying story of what had happened to the toucan went viral. So much so that an investigation was launched and the delinquent youths were caught and tried for what they did. Justice was served, justice that was truly needed. The horror of what these teens did was publicized, and so were the repercussions. To set an example of what happens in such cases, 
While this justice was great, it would not solve the toucan's issues. Now, even though Carmen had made the bird more comfortable, her quality of life was still questioned. How were they going to restore true quality of life to a bird that was missing a key element of who she was? And how was she going to survive? That's where amazing technology came in, 3D printing to be exact. The community that came to the rescue of Panchito, now known as Grisha, did it again. When Carmen found out that there was a possibility that they could give the toucan her beak back, it overly motivated her. The only thing that stood in her way was her lack of funds. This is where the country village came into action. Through fundraising efforts, they could raise enough money to get Grisha her very own 3D beak, printed just for her. This way, she would be able to somewhat regain some normality back into her life. It wasn't a quick process, though. It took a good amount of time. Carmen contacted 3D Systems and explained what they needed to be done. 3D Systems jumped on board immediately and got the ball rolling. They collaborated with Zoo-Wave Animal Rescue Center and a great variety of dentists, local designers, nanotechnology specialists, in order to create a specially designed biocompatible beak. They did this to fit Grisha's anatomy perfectly. First, they had to scan Grisha's existing beak and create a 3D model of it. Those scans were then transformed in CAD models that could then be put into Geomagic Freeform in order to sculpt and surface the design. After that, those designs were used by a selective laser sintering printer to print in plastic a prosthetic for Grisha's upper beak. The beak was to be put to the test, that's for sure. The designers wanted to ensure that Grisha got exactly what she needed. They checked it would fit well and work well mechanically. Then it was fitted onto Grisha. The top part of her beak is now a white hue, making her look extra special. Today, Grisha is one of Costa Rica's most popular tourist attractions. The caretakers at Zuave said that she is a changed bird ever since she received her prosthetic. They were pleasantly surprised to hear her singing away one day after her beak had been fitted. This was a sure sign that she was truly happier. The 3D printer had given this toucan that almost died, Grisha, a second chance at life, one she deserved. Her story continues to be spread across the whole globe through social media and animal documentary shows, helping to bring awareness to her story, enlightening people on the plights of mistreating animals, whilst also restoring people's faith in humanity. Her story also helps to bring awareness to the wonders of modern technology and how it is helping animals in ways we never would have thought possible. What an incredible story. It just goes to show that everyone deserves a second chance, especially innocent creatures that never asked for any harm to be done. That modern technology truly is helping in ways we never thought it could, as well as the fact that there truly are some good people out there still. We're so glad Grisha got her second chance. If you liked this story, please remember to like and subscribe to our channel. Let us know what you thought of this video in the comments below.